We have here Super Cycle Training Wheels. Yeah, we are going to assemble and we have two wheels. Yes. And two, two training wheel arms and two stabilizing arms. That's right. Two stabilizing arms and it comes with a couple of uh, uh, shaft, washer and knot. Let's open it. Let's have a quick assembly. Slide the shaft uh, into the wheel and uh, then uh, pick up the spacer knot. This one is the spacer knot. And, and tighten it onto the uh, shaft. shaft. Yeah, that's right. And uh, tighten. And, and now it's time to pick up the training wheel arm. And yeah. Put and it. put it on top of the spacer and, and the washer. Yes. And put it. And the axle nut. Yeah, then you take the axle nut and, and you tighten in the place. Now you need a two uh, wrench. The one is number 13 that you can hold it from the back, and the other one is number 12. Tighten the knot back down and tighten this properly. Make sure your training wheels are secure and it should spin freely. Let's review the process with the second training wheel. Okay, and the slide shaft into the wheel and get the spacer knot. Tighten the spacer knot. Yeah, now you need the training wheel arm. So yeah. slide it on to the on top of it and get the washer and put it on. Yeah, put the washer on top of the, the training wheel arm and axle knot. Yeah, and tighten the axle knot, make sure it's secure. Tighten the axle knot. That's right. Now you need the two wrenches. One thirteen millimeter you can hold uh, from the back with a thirteen millimeter. That's the thirteen millimeter one, and uh, twelve millimeter. Just to tighten it. Tighten it properly. Make sure it's secure. Your training wheels should spin freely. Take one axle knot at a time. Don't take both out. You will lose all your adjustments for the chain. Oh, yeah, that's right. Insert the stabilizing arm. The notched end of the arm fits over the bicycle frame. Attach the training wheels and insert the axle nut. Don't tighten it too much. We are going to adjust the height later. I'm using the tie wrap to keep the stabilizing arm at the right place. At this side of the bike arm, there is a metal piece that's not letting the stabilizer arm fit over. It's not ready yet. I Can guess. we see? Wow! Cool! Let's install the training wheel on the other side. Remove the rear axle nut from the bicycle wheel axle. Insert the stabilizing arm. The notched end of the arm fits over the bicycle frame. Attach the training wheel and insert the axle nut. Don't tighten it too much. We are going to adjust the height later. Use the tie wrap to keep the stabilizing arm in a place. The bike should always have a little bit of wobble. For beginners, 4 millimeters is okay. Adjust the height with a hammer and tighten the axle knot back down in both sides. Tighten it as much as possible. Make sure it is secure and Safe. Safe. Let's see if it's perfect. Does the training wheel spin freely? Yes, they both do. Do the pedals work good? Yes, they do. Ah! Let me see my Let me see. Wow! You're making you, mommy. You 
you're welcome. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe and stay with us to see more future videos from Life Experience. Thanks for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.